have here in my hand a singing bowl. The story begins in this spot for me because I was camping and I was camping with two friends and I was realizing that, hey, I was sleeping really well and the food tasted really, really great. And uh, the food, the friends, the fire, you, you've got everything you need. And so uh, there I was then driving back to my house in the city in a four bedroom house and it was just, um, the sleep wasn't that great, the water wasn't that great. Uh, and so coming out here uh, meant a whole lot more of uh, times that were both fun and weird and reflective and creative and mindful and natural. Come see the birdhouse uh, and let's see what essentials I have and what essentials I don't have. Let's go. In the morning, I get up and uh, I make some coffee or some tea. This here is reishi mushroom and chaga, two different mushrooms. We got a little bit of a um, experiment going on here. We've got coconut milk and we're gonna do the dill later on. So the dill coconut for lunch. Come on in, what are you waiting for? Come on in. So essentials that I really wanted to bring with me or that are a big part of this birdhouse now, this cabin, um, are some good books. Probably a toothbrush, my bed, um, a bowl of some sort. Some good books, flashlight, my bed. I don't have a parking spot. Some good books. I don't have a car. My bed, toilet paper. <laughs> For a small cabin such as this, this wood stove is opulent. It is massive. Um, um, in the summer, you can put candles in there, and it gives a nice glow uh, at night. Um, but otherwise, in the winter, for about 30 minutes, 40 minutes of making a fire, um, after 40 minutes, this place heats up, and it's and it's uh, it's good 26, 27 degrees, um, with the snow outside going sideways. Um, and uh, yeah, the heat here going up um, through the hole to the upstairs. So you can sleep down here or you can sleep upstairs. Uh, sometimes I sleep downstairs, sometimes I sleep upstairs. These are old bedposts my, my, my dad helped put in. Um, and I really like them because they look, um, they don't look like a ladder, um, but they are together. They form a ladder. Through the little mouse hole is what I can call it, and uh, and when you're thinking about designing small spaces in particular, you want a, a lot of a lot of curves and round uh, or, or key spaces need to be rounded. Anything that you're going to touch or go through, go near, so cupboards and such and counters, you want them rounded. Uh, a friend of mine, an architect, she said that uh, um, that straight lines are from the devil. Welcome to the upstairs of the birdhouse. Here is a dimmer switch for the light on the roof. Uh, and and uh, there's an upside down clock and two typewriters. There's a sculpture, that's one of my favorite pieces. That would have to come with me. The question of, is small for everyone? Uh, I don't know, I, I, don't, I don't think so. I think smaller could be for everyone. So small, living small, which is for me living simply, which is for me living uh, outdoors um, or being in nature um, more with an untouched natural setting, uh, is, it, uh, is it attractive or is it more practical? Well for me, I find living smaller and simply is wildly attractive um, because it allows you to live in places like this 
things I like out here. Uh, I like the view. I like the way it sounds out here. I like being up in the trees more. Um, it's actually a, an uncle of mine who called it once the birdhouse, so we just went with that. And so we have the bird nest. And uh, in keeping with some roundness, this is so people don't bonk their heads going around, because that did happen. So we rounded a bit, and uh, you can score the wood on the back side, um, and then bend it carefully and slowly. So, and then there's there's the there's the my huge power generation plant, a massive power generation plant uh, is here for hundred and ten dollars. You've got your uh, your solar panel from a marine store. They often sell them, uh, and that right there powers um, all my lights. I leave my lights on sometimes all the time, which I know isn't maybe, um, actually you can do that because it's renewable. Solar panel. So the door that I enter in is here and it actually often is the kitchen. So come on in, let's, uh, let's see the kitchen. So, as it is, good mantra for almost every single day. The uh, kitchen dish rack, we've got different uh, oils and lights and bananas and a mosquito. There's a mosquito. Um, we've got uh, kettles. The cooler, which can be hooked up to the, um, the DC system, so the direct current system. Uh, so that cools. We've got a bread box, we've got some tools back there, and, and the dry storage compost and the garbage. Um, we've got teas, we've got the mortar and pestle, the honey, um, different oils and vinegars, um, different pots, jars. Simple. I'm Christoph Kesting. This is the Oompa Loompa door. I'll see you upstairs. Thanks very much for watching. Thanks also very much to Fair Companies for doing what they do. Much love. Mm.